Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Legion Talk, episode number 83. Now, what we're going to be taking a look at is, ooh, Senator Kirsten Cinema is harassed and followed into a bathroom. Also, she is followed and harassed on a plane by one of the same confronters. This is not good. She is a public official. They were protesting, supposedly, on, on you know, on, <laughs> on private property or, you know, so whatever. Uh, but at the same time, they followed her into the bathroom. That's harassment. That's harassment. And then following her onto the plane is harassment and stalking. That's right. I'm not joking. But without any further delay, here we go. That's not what I, the one I want. Here we go. Immigration activists confront follow Kirsten Cinema into bathroom at ASU. It's really kind of weird. Um, I'm a libertarian, and and I hold some some liberal, but uh, mostly conservative views. And uh, people would say that, um, you know, they would say bad things about me. I mean, I, I was called, a, I've been called an insurrectionist and terrorist on Twitter, even though I was not at the January 6th debacle. Anyway. Okay. An organization posted videos on Sunday afternoon of students confronting Senator Kirsten Cinema regarding SB 1070 and Arizona's immigration law and her stance on the national infrastructure bill. The students in the video can be students. Get a life, dudes. Study. Make something yourself, you losers. Can be heard cinema has not been following through on her promises, referencing the three point five trillion infrastructure bill that cinema has criticized. Well, I mean but Yeah, let's 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 spend more money because we're gonna build back we're gonna build back better. In a video posted by Lucha Arizona, a group of students is seen attempting to stop cinema outside her class, her classroom, at ASU's downtown campus to ask her question about the build back, build back better agenda. Shut up, Joe Biden. On um, you know what? I actually feel bad for him. He needs to be in a nursing home. You guys that voted for him, you're losers. You put a senile old man in the White House. He should be, you know, living out his twilight years with family and friends and, and relaxing. Dicks. The group of students then follow Cinema into the bathroom. One student, Blanca, is seen talking to Cinema about the, the what, Blanca? So, you know, she's, never mind. Senator about the SB 1070 law, which, uh, which is Arizona's immigration law. My name is Blanca. I was brought here to the United States when I was three years old. In 2010, both of my grandparents got deported because of SB 1070, says the student in the video. I'm here because I definitely believe that we need a pathway to citizenship. There is a pathway to citizenship, Blanca. My grandfather passed away two weeks ago and was not able to go to Mexico to, to visit him. Because there is no pathway. What? My grandfather passed away two weeks ago and I was not. Okay. What? You can't get on a plane? Blanca continues saying they must hold cinema accountable for her actions. We need to hold you accountable for what you promised us that you were going to pass when we knocked on your on doors for you, said Blanca. Cinema didn't say anything to the protesters in the bathroom. Senator Cinema released a statement on Monday uh, morning about the confrontation. I'm not going to. Uh, I guess I can. Yeah. Yesterday, several individuals disrupted my class at Arizona State University after deceptively entering, entering a locked and secure building. These individuals filmed a publicly posted video of my students without their permission and Clinton blah, blah, blah. In Arizona, we love the First Amendment. We know that it is uh, vital to our democracy that constituents can freely petition, protest, or criticize uh, my policy. Yes, I know. Yesterday, behavior was not legitimized. Protest 
it is unacceptable for activist organizations to inst- instruct their members to jeopardize themselves by engaging in the unlawful activities such as gaining entry to a closed university building, uh, so trespassing, disrupting learning environments, and filming students in the classroom. Okay, that's fine. You know what? She gets a follow from me because, you know what, she's, uh, well, I'm just saying, she's doing decent stuff. According to Lucha, Arizona, the young woman in the video is a DACA recipient who wanted to say goodbye to her grandfather in Mexico before he passed away. I don't, well, okay, go back then. The organization added the same young woman also walked in hot weather conditions going door to door. I don't care. I, I, I don't I don't care. Ooh, you you walked door to door in the hot. I don't care. There, there are normal Americans, construction workers, police officers, firefighters, met, uh, postal workers that walk in the conditions. I don't care. Take your sad ass crap somewhere else. Like millions of others, this young woman is speaking out in this key moment like any of us would do to ensure her family would never face separation due to the de- 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 detention and deportation again. Well, maybe don't come here illegally. Mm. I don't give a shit at what Lucha Arizona do- says. Fuck you. Fuck you. The Senator Cinema has ignored us and all the people who fought hardest to elect her for years. She's denied our request, ignored our phone calls. I would too because you're an illegal and close her office uh, to her constituents. She hasn't had a public event or town hall in years. No one wants to meet with their senator in the restroom but it seems like yeah you're just trying to you're trying to confront your uh your bullshit dreamer confronts kirsten cinema on plane oh now she's followed her to a plane senator kirsten cinema democrat arizona remained largely silent during tense encounter with the uh, with the d- deferred action for childhood arrivals nobody cares recipient on board of a of a plane guess what this is the land of the free not land of the um of the i'm sorry for your loss i'm sorry for your hardship it's not we have we have moved more people as immigrants into the united states than any mass migrant movement in the history of the world that's right. I'm not joking. You can fact check that on Google. Any country, any mass migrant of human beings in the world has been larger by the migrants in the United States to date. So, no, I, I don't want to hear about the like, oh, America's racist and they, they won't accept uh, they won't accept the migrants. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna build back build back better. Tired as crap. Footage of the senator's confrontation on board the airplane was shared on Twitter by the Arizona Dream, <laughs> the losers at DACA. How'd you know she was on the plane? I know. I want to know. how'd you know she was on the plane seriously how'd you know she was on the plane who'd you talk to because now you're talking about um you're talking about stalking and possibly Government espionage. Uh oh. The woman who confronted cinema and filmed the encounter was later identified as Karina Ruse, a loser and loser recipient who said she was a volunteer to help elect Simon in 2018. Still a loser. Senator, hello, how are you? Said Ruse said in the video after walking down the airplane's aisle and stopping next to cinema seat. Positioned very close to the center, Cinema silently looked in the direction of Ruse before turning her head away and appearing to read. 
I don't know if you remember me, but I'm the loser who has been stalking you and who needs to be apprehended by the Capitol Police. I just want you to know if you can commit as my senator, if you can commit passing a reconciliation that could provide a pathway to citizens, citizen, uh, citizenship for immigrants who have been waiting for this for too long. You mean illegals. Can you commit to that, Senator? Cinema remained silent for several awkward seconds while Ruse told her that she was being vulnerable and mentioned to her father that had died and passed away. I, I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. The Senator briefly turned to shake her, her head no and say, I'm sorry. You never say I'm sorry. Just say no and fuck off. Followed by several other words that were unclear in the video. She then turned her head away and then began to ignore Ruse. I don't want to disturb you, but at the same time, I just see that if we can get committed to Senator Ruse and the Maya and blah, 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 and Millen's in the line, I just need to hear from you. Can, can you get a commit from, uh, from you to get Pathway to Citizenship? Can I get a commitment from you? She added silence. All right, Senator, I can see that you don't respond to me. Thanks for your time. No, she was chased off by a flight attendant. The message from Karina, I am a I'm a loser recipient from Arizona who volunteered to help elect Senator Cinema. I asked her to follow through with her promises to immigrants in Arizona and support citizenship through reconciliation. DACA is a joke. Repeal that garbage. Arrest this clown who, yes, has harassed and stalked a U.S. government official. Videos taken after the plane land showed the senator appearing to speak on her phone while uh, averting her eyes, largely ignoring a group of several people as she confronted over her position on the Build Back Better. Build Back Better. Fall down the airport concourse. This is garbage. This is garbage. This is garbage. This is garbage. Senator, hello, how are you? Sorry, I'm just, I'm Katina. I don't know if you remember me. This is garbage. I just want to know if, um, you can... Oh, just for the record, it's Senator uh, Kirsten Cinema. She's, she's pretty attractive. I mean, I'm just saying, but back to the point. You can commit as, as my senator, as you, if you can commit to passing a reconciliation. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you illegally here? You don't have a senator. Go back to Mexico. Go to Mexico. That could provide a pathway to citizenship for immigrants. We have been waiting for this for too long. I just need to know if you can commit to passing budget reconciliation that would include immigration and citizenship for people to be protected like me and many others. Can you commit to that, Senator? First off, somebody needs to get her a better security detail. This is crazy. There should have been a big dude be like going step off and move away. I mean if she needs a guard if she needs a security detail I'm former U.S. Army military police. Uh, I um, I was trained in many fields, and I'm quite good at what I do. And uh, I'll protect you. Just let me know. And I'm I'm free to travel, Senator uh, Kirsten Cinema. I'm just asking a simple question. I'm being vulnerable right now to you. My look, look, even even dude over here. Look, dude over here. Dude over here is like, what are you doing, loser? Dad passed away. She says, no, I'm sorry. No, but my dad passed away. My dad passed away last year, and he didn't get to reunite. If I was this guy, I'd be like, turn around and go to your seat. Now! Or I will remove you. With my family. I don't want to disturb you, but at the same time... I no, you're just disturbing the whole entire flight. 
Oh, just for the record, um, the definition of terrorism is, uh, you know, is threat of violence or harassment for political gain. That's not good. You accosted her in the bathroom. You accosted her on a flight that I, I don't know how you knew she would be on. And... So you're harassing her for political gain. That's domestic terrorism. Go to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Throw the key away on this woman. Bye-bye, loser. See, if you, I can get a commitment from you, Senator. This is my life and the life of millions in the line. I just need to hear from you. Can we get a commitment from you? get a path with citizenship through the Bucky Reconciliation to protect me and millions like me. Can I get a commitment from you? Oh, you hear it? You hear it? Somebody hit the stu the, the flight attendant button. Bing -a -ding. So she's in first class with the senator. Who who approved this? Who bought this ticket for this girl? Look, look. The senator is most likely, and at least um, I would say, economy plus. She walks to the Ford of the cabin, so she's an economy plus also. Who paid for her ticket? Was it you, DACA? Because if it was you, then guess what? You get charged too. Inciting and conspiracy. Congratulations, losers. You'll lose again. You fucking retards can't learn a fucking lesson for nothing. You can't. You guys are idiots. You harass people. You bully them. And you know what? Quite frankly, it's going to get to the point. You're lucky I wasn't on that plane. You know what? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I would have stood up and I'm like, what's going on here? And she would have turned and looked at me like, I'm talking to the senator. It's none of your business. Well, apparently the senator doesn't want to talk to you. Turn around and go back to your seat. She's like, I don't have to go back to my seat. Go back to your seat or I'm going to make you go back to your seat. You understand me? I'm tired of this crap. You left this loser.